Right, exit slip 63, uh, we're creating and using bar model diagrams uh, to model and solve equations. So we really, this bar model uh, method of solving is something we talked about yesterday and, and trying to use those to help us solve. We know bar models, we learned, uh, work very well when there's addition and multiplying. Okay, and equations like this one is all multiplying and adding. So this would be a good choice here. If you start getting subtraction and division, bar models get a little bit tougher. Uh, to use and we'll probably use other strategies when that's the case. Okay, but bar models kind of describe themselves. We're going to make bars. All right, so we're going to make in this case two bars. And I can just separate and make a rectangle and I've got one bar up top, one bar at bottom. Uh, one of these is going to go on the top, one of these is going to go on the bottom. Okay, and our goal uh, is to set these uh, equal to each other. So that's why the bars are equal size because these equal each other it tells us. So three T's, again, we're going to do a little, seeing there's three T's here and four T's here, I'm going to go three T like this, and then on the other side, I have four T's, so I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, we're setting them equal, trying to set them equal to each other to figure out what T value, or T's value is. So three T plus eight, so I'm left with eight in the rest of the bar, and here I have four T plus three. And you won't always make these perfect. Uh, but you should know 4t is a little bit bigger than 3t, so I made the bar a little bit bigger. And then 8 is bigger than 3, so the bar for 8 is larger. All right, so there's my starting bar model. We know 3t and add this 8 gives me the whole bar, and 4t plus 3 equals the same thing. So to do this, I need to reorganize. Okay, I want to try and get all the t's together and match things up by size when they equal each other. So, for example, here, if I have 3t's, I'm going to keep that 3t. But if I have four T's, I also have three T's plus, and let's make that the same size, plus one more T. So I'm gonna break four T's down into three T plus one more T. Do you see how that's still four T? I didn't change any value. Now this three T equals that three T because they're the same size. I'm gonna do the same thing with the numbers. Again, this might not always match up number-wise perfectly, the sizes, but if this is three, this has to be three. And I know this whole thing is 8, so this has to be 5. This is still 3t plus 8. It's the same thing. And this is 4t plus 3. But now we're trying to get these sides to equal each other, right? Well, doesn't 3t equal 3t? So I'm going to put a line through that. Those equal each other already. And 3 equals 3. So what I'm left with is t has to equal 5. So there's my solution. I can break it down in this way, and if I can get everything on top to equal things on the bottom, whatever is left, if I get t by itself, that's what t equals, so t is 5, okay? And again, if I want to plug that in, double check, we always want to do that, substitute, so this would become 3 times 5 plus 8 equals 4 times 5 plus 3. So 3, plus, 3 times 5 plus 8 must equal... 4 times 5 plus 3. I just plug that 5 in in place of t. Remember, that's substitution. So if I follow my appendix, this is 15. 5 times 3 plus 8 uh, is 23. And this is 4 times 5, which is 20. Plus 3 is still 23. So notice they equal, and I showed my work to prove it there. Okay, They both equal 23 when t equals 5. So this is only equal when t equals 5. So 5 is my only solution there. Uh, for this, uh, for these equations. Okay, so that's an example of that bar model. Again, works really well when I have adding and multiplying, not so well subtracting, okay, and division. All right, so go ahead and make sure this is written. I'll pause it if you need to, and we'll look into a word problem and how to use this for a word problem. So we've got a problem here that says Naya is four years younger than Ella, and Ella is twice as old as Naya. Okay, so we're going to talk about that a little more closely here. You really have to be a good reader to understand who's older and younger and by how much, and trying to understand the situation. But we always have to define a variable. In this case, they tell us find a variable for Naya's age. So we, let's pretend we don't know Naya's age, because that's what a variable stands for, something we don't know. So let's say n equals Naya's age. Nice and simple, starts with an N, let's use that. N equals Naya's age. 
All right, so here comes the tough part now. We gotta get these and write these into an equation that'll model the problem so we're able to solve it and find out how old Naya is. So the equation here, we have to put this into an equation. If Naya is four years younger than Ella, okay, if Naya is four years younger than Ella, that means that Ella is older. So if I take Naya and add four, that will get me Ella's age, right? So I'm setting this equal to each other. This would be Ella's age at Naya plus four because Naya is four years younger. So if I add four, I get to Ella. Now the other side must also equal Ella's age. And it says Ella is twice as old as Naya. So she's double the age. So if I know Naya, let's write it here. Two times N would be the way we would write it here. Okay, so N stands for Naya's age. If I double it, I get Ella. Notice, both of these things, I can set them equally to each other because they both equal Ella's age. Okay, if I add four, I get Ella. And if I double Naya, I get it because it says Ella is twice as old as Naya. So take Naya times two. Notice how these both equals Ella's age. So this should work. And I have all multiplying and, and adding. So the bar model would be a good thing to use here. So let's make our two bars. The top, let's go N plus four. And on the bottom, I have two N's. Okay, so instead of writing two N's, guys, could I just break that up and write N and N? Because I know I'm trying to get these things on top and bottom to equal each other. Well, I know N equals N. So what's left is N has to be four because N's by itself. So how old is Naya? Well, Naya is four uh, years younger than Ella. So four years younger than Ella. So in this case, we know Naya equals four. And could you also tell me Ella's age? What's Ella equal here? Well, I could just plug it in. If Naya is four, four plus four is eight, or four times two is eight. I could also tell you that Ella is eight years old. It didn't ask me that, uh, but I could easily tell how old both of those people were. And again, the hard part sometimes is writing that equation. So you got to define a variable. What are we missing? And then I should be able to set them equal to each other because they tell me things I can do to that to get to Ella's age. And then I can use that bar model to solve. Okay, and don't forget to plug that back in like we did. All right, if we plug in Naya is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, and 2 times 4 is 8, uh, so, no, so I know I'm right. So make sure you get these copied down here. We'll get more experience writing these equations because every situation is a little bit different. Got to be a good reader and be able to get uh, this into, you know, an algebraic equation.